team, welcome back to another episode of Due North. This week, from the Arctic Circle, this line right here, 66 degrees and 33 minutes north is the Arctic Circle. And it's cold, it's minus 22. Last night it got down to about minus 25. I stayed here overnight. Right there, there's a little cafe. Uh, I'm gonna go in in a second and get a coffee and obviously visit the gift shop because that's what you do. You go to the Arctic Circle and you visit the gift shop. Um, everything from this point on, north is dangerous. It's sketchy. There are, in fact, today there's a double polar storm moving in across the north of this landmass, um, heading eastwards. Tromsø in the top of Norway is basically closed. For the first time ever, all the buses have stopped running. All the shopping centers this close to Christmas are closed because of the severity of this double polar storm. But what about the Arctic Circle itself though? This line, as I said, 66 degrees and 33 minutes north, it represents the exact location at which in midsummer's day, the midnight sun is visible, exists. And in midwinter, it represents the point at which polar night exists, the sun does not rise. So this point right here for one day in the middle of winter has no sunrise. What that means for me though, heading so much further north, a few hundred miles further north, is that I'm gonna have quite a while with no sunrise. It's gonna be just like a twilight condition. We've got a lot of cloud here today, which is obviously making it a bit darker. I've adjusted the camera so that you can see me, but you can actually see the lights on the van, which tells you it's pretty dark. Right. Let's go and warm up and get a coffee over here in the gift shop. The Arctic Circle line is a little bit behind me now. I've started to drive a little bit further north, but I've decided that I have, it's Sunday today, I've worked really hard. I've paid attention for the past nearly 2,000 miles in less than a week, and I'm having a break. So today I've given myself just 130 kilometers to drive, which will take me to Akaslampolo. And if you remember, Akis Lompolo from last year. It's where we met, um, it's, where, it's where we went, how do I, I don't even know what the machine is called. You know the snow machines that maintain ski slopes? It's where we went in one of them and met Yannicka and Semu um, and went up to the top of the fell to find the Northern Lights in the middle of the night. Um, I'm gonna go and see them tomorrow, have a coffee with them, but today, the driving is going to be slow and steady and the reason is there's all this cloud in the air that you saw just now and um, I told you about the double polar storm that's moving across to the north of here well this cloud is the result of the low pressure system behind that storm um, and what that's done that low pressure air it's warmer that's what low pressure air is and therefore it's made it quite humid which has made it quite icy um, and I checked on the Finnish Meteorological Institute's um, site and there's a weather warning in effect for this area for snow and ice and it says risk to life. Um, and you don't take that sort of stuff lightly. If you remember last year, there was about a, once a week there was a weather warning. And so it wouldn't be due north without it. So I'm going to go slow and steady and the slightest sign of anything awry today, I'm going to stop. Um, but it's only 114 kilometers to go, which is hmm, 75 to 80 miles thereabouts. 
Yeah. Here's a fun fact. Trees. There are loads of trees. Um, Finland claims that they have 10 trees for every person on the planet. And so Finland is covered in trees. It's beautiful. And at the moment, with this humidity from the low pressure from this storm to the north, all the trees are covered in ice. The humidity and the temperature is causing the, the moisture in the air to stick and cling to the frozen trees. And it's beautiful. It's like a Christmas card. Anyway, right. Progress to the north. about minus 15 and I am about 23 kilometers from Ekeslompolo where I'm going to go see Janneke and Salmon. And aside from the sound of the van, there is no sound whatsoever. It's a black and white winter wonderland. Just snow and trees, frozen trees. So far, this journey's been all right. Um, I've seen lots of reindeer tracks and I saw a herd of about 30, but I wasn't able to stop. Uh, there was traffic behind me. There was nowhere to pull over. But hopefully there'll be some more. There will be some more. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning. some friends, some reindeer, and there we are, over there is the world's biggest reindeer statue, strange, these guys, uh, I'm sure these guys want to be friends, let's see if, uh, see if anyone wants to come and say hi. There's the van. And the northern lights are forming an arc over the top. We've got no moonlight. We've got some light over here, but I don't think it's moonlight yet. I think it's the light from Agkas Lompola. But the northern lights are getting ready. The show is going to start. Wow. I'm not bothered at how faint this is right now. It's really unsettled, incredibly unsettled. But it's there. If you didn't know what you were looking for, I don't think you would see this. Hello, what's this? Reindeer tracks. Yeah, I don't think you would know that this is Aurora if you didn't know what you were looking for. It's grey to the eye. But there it is, it's dancing. That's pretty much west, that direction. My ISO on this camera right now, to pick it up at this level, is 204,800. Think about that for a second if you're into cameras. <laughs> But we're getting some activity over there. It is unsettled, but we're getting something out to the west. Incredible. This afternoon, I met up with Samu and Yannicka. Samu um, drives the snowcat up on the Ullas ski resort, if you remember from last year. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go 
up on the mountain again, up onto the top of the fell. Forecast is for clouds, but either way, it's going to be fun. And here we are. Listen, the engine is running, but aside from that, there is nothing but silence. And my squeaky shoes. Right, I have a cup of tea at the moment. I'm going to go and finish it, see how this develops. Check the data and see what's happening with the magnetism because there is a distinct arch all the way across the sky here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. I know it's there. I know what I'm looking for. Let's go and finish this cup of tea. the fern under the northern lights this is uh, this is where Samu works that's the ski slope there and then this is the bottom of one of the chairlifts check that out it's incredible oh, hello this is awesome absolutely awesome You can see so many colors up there. Green and blue and purple and pink. I should probably watch where I'm going because the ski slope is right here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A sky full. It's not going crazy, but it is a sky full. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. So we're now in a place where I can vlog with the Northern Lights, real time. Time lapses are still gonna happen, but they're not necessary because I can film the Northern Lights thanks to Russell for organizing this Sony camera and thanks to Sigma for the lens. Incredible. Incredible. Wow. Oh, wow, look. Over there. <laughs> wow. back to the van and it all kicks off. Big. Holy moly. All right, I think I might go, I think I might go back out to where I was. But I don't want this to stop. Holy. Look at that. All right, it's clipping again. I've got to get used to this. 
turn the ISO down. 102,800, 400, 80,000, that'll do. <laughs> 80,000. Flip it, eh? That's going all the way across there. And there's the van. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This is why I'm here. Oh, 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 oh look at it. And people ask, does it look like that in real life? Well, this is a video camera. So when you take photos, people say the photos look nothing like what it looks like for real. This is video. This is what it looks like. Oh, wow, look at the colors there. Oh, wow. Oddbetter's gonna be losing his shit if he sees this. He must be able to see this in the photo. Are we gonna get a corona? Don't tell me we're gonna get a corona. So that, this splitting. We might get a corona. This is getting stronger. It's turning into pillars above us. You can see it dancing. We might just get a corona. Because the KP4 that was over there has disappeared. You can see it's really unsettled. The one has disappeared, it's formed into this two. So we've got a two, and this strong one here is the three. Holy smokes. I can hear my heater, or I can hear the heater. I wonder if there's a picture that I should get from over here of the van. I reckon there is. Oh, look at that. There it is. I built that to see that in. <laughs> Win. What's the temperature? Minus eight, I think, up here. It's warmer up here than it is down in the town. Really want this to kick off into a corona. Really want it to. It might just happen, it is definitely splitting. We need the stretch to weaken. So the stretch of the magnetism determines what's going on up there. And if we get the stretch weakening, well, we might just get that corona. Wow. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. That's got bigger. And then that wasn't there. Yeah, this is cool. And see that, that column there, where it joins and shoots off into space. The height of that in the atmosphere, about 80 to 100 kilometers. And then this bit, <laughs> several hundred several hundred kilometers up in the ionosphere, our upper atmosphere. Particles of helium plasma coming from the sun, colliding with particles in our ionosphere. The green is oxygen, the blue is nitrogen. Colliding and reacting, there's an energy exchange. The energy that's released from the energy exchange is released in the form of light. And then we have the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Dawn, or here in Finland, whatever, do that. The Firefox. Wow. Right, that is weakening. As it snapped, it looks like it snapped. And it's snapping there as well. And then this bit is getting way stronger, way stronger. There's some pillars to the right. Oh, are we going to get a corona? 
Corona would be amazing right now. I think we need to take a walk back into these trees, past the digger thing, back into these trees, because there's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful view through the snow-covered trees, especially with the ambient light from over here. Uh, yeah, look at that. Let's go in there. Hopefully the no reindeer or moose decide to surprise me. This way. So beautiful. So beautiful. Something in the bushes over here, or in the trees rather. I don't think it's falling snow. Might be a bird. That is absolutely beautiful. Definitely getting bigger. Definitely getting bigger over here. I'm only wearing a jumper, getting cold arms. Let's see if anything else happens. Good at dancing. Wow. Ooh. Feels like the temperature's dropped. Well, what a show that was. Um, I need to take this microphone off. It is cold. Um, it's not as cold here as it is in other places. It's not as cold here as it was is where I was earlier because I'm slightly higher up the fell and there's a temperature inversion um, but the show is basically over for the night there's still some unsettled aurora if it kicks off again I'll go back out and do it again but for now I need to get on with writing this blog for Scott Kelby's website and I need to look at some of the pictures and video that I got and see how that new camera worked out so uh, let's see what happens tomorrow, unless it kicks off again. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, actually. Um, the Northern Lights last night, insane. Absolutely insane. Um, I streamed it on Facebook and it blew my mind that I was able to stream it on Facebook. Um, the power of that Sony A7S III and the lens, the Sigma 20mm f1.4 are, well, it's incredible. So we're back at uh, the same place. I've just been to town, sat in a cafe, um, had some coffee and wrote uh, a post for DIYphotography.net. It's about portrait AI software, comparing which one's the best. So head over to DIYphotography.net if you want to see that and my other AI software comparisons. And this is Ulas North Ski Resort. Um, this is where Samu and Yannicka work. Um, we've got a bit of a snowstorm today. Everything's changed. The forest that I was in last night is just over here. Um, and uh, I think maybe we'll hook up again with Samu and go up to the top of the fell but visibility is crazy bad today. Um, the sun never came up, obviously, we're up in the Arctic Circle. Um, but there's just no contrast. When, when the conditions are like this, there's no contrast because the snow covers the road, so you don't see the tarmac or anything underneath. Um, and there are no shadows. Like, when it's so overcast and so snowy, and there's no direct light, there are no shadows, so there's no contrast, so you can't really define the road 
or anything very well. So looking out the window, we just look ahead. We, there's this guy here defrosting or de-icing his car, but you can't really see boundaries. If you see what I mean, there's just nothing. There is no contrast, nothing to help whatsoever. It's just the way it is. But you adapt, you drive slow, you drive carefully if you have to drive at all. Right, there's the restaurant and the bottom of the ski lifts. Let's see what happens next. The snow is um, <clears throat> really coming down now. And so I decided, because I'm so hungry, I wanted to make some comfort food. And so when I used to live in South Africa, I used to go to Spur, uh, which is like a South African restaurant chain, and get a double cheddar melt mushroom burger. So I'm making one. It's um, one burger bun, two burger patties, cheap uh, cheese slices, and then a mushroom sauce. So I'm making the mushroom sauce right now. It is cooking cream, chopped mushrooms, paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, uh, and then I'm going to put some dried crispy onions on it as well and layer it up. I'll show you. It looks what? It looks like this. Oh yes. So messy, but so delicious. But it's always the messy things that taste the best, right? I'm going to eat this. Um, if the snow comes down, we'll have a look outside. But, well, let's look outside now. I'll show you exactly what's happening out there. There we go. It's snowing and it's windy. So, I'm going to eat my burger and enjoy my evening and watch some YouTubes and Netflix that I downloaded earlier on the Wi-Fi in the cafe. Burger time. Things are getting serious. Hot drink, washing up is done, very important. Snow boots, jumper, jacket, snow trousers, advent calendar, awesome camera, Polar bear. Uh, where was I? Uh, snow boots. Where did I put? Aha. Gloves. Snood. Hat. Samu is on his way. We're going to go up on the fell. There's a bit of a blizzard. Not a massive blizzard. Not by Lapland standards. But by everywhere else standards. There's a massive blizzard. So I've got to dress up warm and pick the right camera to take um which camera this one no this one no the one in the, the one in the front and the gopro not this one uh-uh no way let's go can't even see the screen so the most important thing to do obviously is to not die and so I've dressed appropriately these gloves I'm gonna I don't know if you can even see me the gloves that I'm wearing are Valoret photography gloves they're Norwegian they're designed for the cold your finger and thumb come out so that you can operate buttons on your camera and on your phone but then just tuck your finger and thumb back away when you don't need them so, 10 out of 10, these Valorette photography gloves. Um, link in the description, actually, if you want some. It's an affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you any extra, but I get something like 5%, 10%. Okay, this is, this is, this is stupid. It's windy and hot. Samu. That might be Samu. It might not be. Probably is. I don't know how many of them are working tonight. Yo! 
It's cold out there. It is. <sighs> Stupidly strong wind though. Yeah, introduction to snow clap, the fastest lesson in the world. Yeah. What are your hands and feet doing? The feet is the gas pedal of course. We don't have brakes because if I lift the gas it will stop instantly. Okay. Like a wall. Okay. Then we have these two for the tracks. So these are my steering basically. Okay. I pull this, we go left, I pull this, we go right. Like a tank? I, yeah. If I pull them here, we will reverse. Right, okay. Very easy. Then with this joystick, I operate everything else. So basically the plate in front of me, all the operations happens from here. Okay. And also the tiller behind that makes the surface flat. I will operate it from here also. So. Okay. Very simple, but very tricky. You just have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this thing, we're going down quite a steep slope here now. Yeah. Like, this thing just takes it like there's nothing, like it's no problem. Yeah, and you don't really feel that it's steep. It's yeah. like... It's like the world's see. smoothest roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> but if you jump out, you, you will realize how steep it is. Yeah. Because you, you uh, tend to believe that the surface is flat. Yeah, because you're... But when you jump out, you notice that, yeah, no. Yeah, we can see from the poles that we're going past, we can see how steep it is. Yeah. And the lights are like the sun as well. Yeah. Almost as many lights as my van. <laughs> yeah, I have everything on. Here. 
When you go outside on top. Yeah. Ooh. You can see the tiller. There are spikes and it's spinning like I don't know how many rounds per minute. Probably not many. It is pretty fast. Is it fast? Yeah. Okay. You can see it from the mirror if it's not snowing. Yeah. It is pretty fast. To the ski pub. I have to get the main lift yeah. and then turn left yeah. and go straight down from there. Mm -hmm. Easy. I can be first. <laughs> difficult slope was extra difficult because there was a whiteout so I couldn't even see where I'm going but I'm glad it only fell over once and it was because I was trying to be cocky and do some tricks yeah what are you gonna do so the sky is still overcast tonight um, I'm right by the reindeer there just behind the trees there um, just hanging out for a bit um, I've been to the cafe I wrote a, wrote a piece about the camera that I use to film the Northern Lights and more specifically the lens that I use as well as the entire rig including the tripod, the memory card and the microphone um, I don't know what to do at the minute I need to charge my laptop and get some more work done but it's, it's really bizarre I don't know if you can hear the silence there's usually the sound of whirring fans the silence the heat is off it's okay, I turned it off. Um, it's unseasonably warm. It's 20 degrees in the back here. Something like 17 in the cab where I'm sat right now. And outside, it's only minus 4. Um, 
last year, almost a year to the day, I think it was yesterday, um, it was minus 37, 10 kilometers up the road uh, towards Mornia. So this is weird, but you know, that's fine. My heater gets a break and I can feel my nose and my fingers. So, you know, I get a break as well. Um, it's nearly Christmas, so I'm gonna do some Christmassy things, have a look around the area, enjoy myself. Um, there's a shopping center. I'm just gonna chill out for a bit and then get back to work. But yeah, today was skiing. Do you know what was the best thing about skiing today though? It was seeing, last night, Samu built that slope. He made that slope. And then today I skied it. The first time it was open this year. That was cool. That was really cool. Nice job, Samu. So, right, on with my evening. I say evening. <laughs> it's four o'clock. <laughs> the sun will rise again for me on the 6th of January in just over two weeks when I'm up in uh, Lofoten. Interesting, huh? The weather outside is frightful. Huh? See what I did there? <laughs> oh God. Anyway, um, this morning there is a lot of snow. I'm not, uh, there's not really a lot of snow. There's about 15 centimeters of snow. Um, and so I'm just defrosting the van, um, clearing the snow from the windscreen. The lights are clear already. I went out and did that just now. I'm going to go into town, have a coffee and get some work done because it is just overcast. It's beautiful, but it's just overcast. So I'm going to go to town, have a coffee, get some work done. Um, and then I'm going to think about moving away from Ekas Lompolo towards Swedish Lapland. So uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get today done. I have left Ekas Lompolo. Um, I got loads of work done. I wrote a few reviews and wrote uh, an article. And now uh, I'm on my way, having checked the weather forecast, to the area of Kiruna and uh, Abisko over in Swedish Lapland. Now, the weather outside sucks. It's starting to get a bit colder, but that moisture is still in the air. And so what's happening is it's raining, but it's raining ice and my windscreen is not enjoying it. So um, I've pulled over and my plan is I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat uh, and let the van try and defrost itself for its own heat for a bit. And uh, before I leave, I'll tackle it myself with the brush and the scraper. Um, I've already sprayed some de-icer just to see what that does. But the problem is that although the windscreen will be de-iced by the de-icer, what's actually frozen is the wiper blades. Um, so I need to clear them off as well. Anyway, I'm going to have a burger because I know I've already had burgers. Don't start. I, uh, <laughs> I just need to finish the burgers that I bought. Um, and then I'm going to hit the road and it's going to be 250 kilometers if I go all the way through to my planned destination. But it all depends on the weather. Um, I've got the slightest bit of clear sky over there this evening with a good aurora forecast. And that's why I'm heading there. So we'll see if that works out or not. If not, no big deal. But um, I need some more northern lights. Lots more northern lights. Because I'm addicted. And I need to, uh, need to see all this beautiful light. Nature's greatest light show. Right, burgers. Anyway, burgers. Burgers. Holy moly. I was right. I've done the right thing. Sorry, you can barely see me. How about... Huh? There we go. You can see the actual light there. There we go. Turns out I made the right decision um, because I'm about 200 kilometers into the drive. I'm in Sweden. I'm heading towards Kiruna and Abisko, Abisko National Park, or the gates of Lapland. Um, and I can see stars. I've done the right thing. Woohoo! Makes a change. So it is 20 past seven. We've gained an hour by crossing the border into Sweden, but it's 20 past seven. Um, I've got 100 kilometers to go. Uh, it's currently about minus 10 and I'm doing 
an average of about 70 kilometers an hour. So I'm gonna say, calling it safe two hours, I'll be there. Let's see what happens uh, and see if the space activity is what I think it's gonna be. It's looking like we're getting the effects of one of these coronal holes that was facing the Earth uh, due this evening. Should be it like now until about 1 a.m. If I've read the data correctly. I usually read the data correctly. I have written a book about it. The Complete Aurora Guide for Travelers and Photographers. It's available on Amazon. The link's in the description. Anyway, um, stars in the sky. Let's keep going. <laughs> somewhere all the back roads are shut but look oh whoa absolutely incredible Woo. wow oh my goodness all right there's a there's a road back there that's not been cleared. I'm going to leave the van here and see if I can walk up that road. See how deep the snow is, because yeah, because I have to. Ah, whoa! 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 Yes! Look at this! Whoa! Stunning. Oh. Hokey cokey. Right, what can we get? Oh. This is amazing. Ten seconds, ISO nine thousand. Let's see what we can get here. All right, lights out. Holy smokes! Sky is on fire. Woo! Two. 10 seconds is too much. This is so bright. Six seconds. ISO 6400 f2.8. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's minus 20. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Whew. I think there's something on the lens. I think I need to sort out the focus. So let's put it into auto. Focus as far this point I can find, which is there. Oh, I'm not far from the road because I can't really, I can't really get too deep into this. I don't know this area very well. The aurora is moving, changing. It's calming down, but over here, the sky is all lit. There's a band above here. There's another one here. I think this is coming next. On the forecast, there's a spike in activity, speed density, the stretch decreases. <laughs> And then magnetism flips upside down to negative any minute now, which should be amazing. Right, let's get another picture done. Lights off. Oh, well, here we go. We're back on. Snow's a little deep though. Wow, Ooh, there's a rock. Ooh. Oh, this is stunning. All right, let's get a photo.
closer this way. is going to be in the phone because that's where he lives. That's where he is a Northern Lights guide. But as well as that, Russell Preston Brown and Rocky Montez Carr are going to come and see this with me. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely freezing, but beautiful. I keep forgetting to take pictures. I need to take pictures. Right, I'm going to do one more picture. Six seconds, ISO 3200. There's purple over there. Wow. They're going to come and join me. We're going to have an amazing time in the photon looking for the normal lights, taking amazing photos. Uh, it's minus 20, and there's only one thing to do at minus 20 with an normal lights out when you're in knee deep snow. Firstly, I'm gonna say, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great one with the people you love. Whoa! Remember, this is very important. Remember, it's a once in a lifetime as often as you can. And one of the things to do when you once in a lifetime, there we go, is to find the northern lights, find 40 inches, is that 40 inches? 40 centimeters, anyway, of snow and then lie in it and watch the sky. Oh, absolutely stunning. See you next time. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh, my fingers. Oh, so cold. So beautiful. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, there we go. The camera is starting to glitch a little, it's so cold. Oh wow. 
All right, let's change some settings. Let's go a lower ISO down to 1600 and we'll go up to 10 seconds. Oh, that is getting really strong. Really, really strong. Whoa. Whoa. There's some light somewhere. Oh, it's tiny, I'll deal with it afterwards. Oh, this is so beautiful. I can only bring my finger and thumb out of the gloves for like a minute at a time. It's that cold. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. I need to